Today I'm going to share some tips for getting started with the Read and Write for Google Chrome extension. The very first step is to make sure you're using the Google Chrome browser. It doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC or on a Chromebook as long as you're using Google Chrome. When you open Google Chrome, you'll see your Google Chrome extensions right next to the Omnibox. The purple puzzle piece is the Read and Write for Google Chrome extension. If you click on it, it should open up. If for some reason you're not seeing your purple puzzle piece, make sure you're signed into the Chrome browser. I can tell that I'm signed in because my name appears up here. This will not appear if you're on a Chromebook because when you open the Chromebook, it makes you sign in and then it automatically signs you into the browser as well. But if you're on a Mac or a PC, you might have to make sure you're signed in right here. Being signed in right here is not the same as being signed in on actual, the actual Google website. So there are two different places to sign in and that can be sometimes confusing. So make sure you're signed into the browser. If you're still not seeing your puzzle piece, you may have to install it. And you'll do that by going to the Chrome Web Store. The easiest way to find it is to search for read and write. You'll see it right here. Again, look for that purple puzzle piece. Because I already have it installed, I don't have the option to click to add it to Chrome. But if it wasn't installed yet, you would see the blue Add to Chrome button. You would click on it and then follow the steps as it prompts you. Sometimes immediately after you add a new extension to Google Chrome, you need to quit Google Chrome and come back in in order for it to work. So if clicking on your uh, purple puzzle piece doesn't work right away, exit, try again. If for some reason it is added to Google Chrome and you're still not seeing it right here, one more thing that might be happening is that you need to install some kind of update or accept the permissions. If that's the case, look for these three little dots at the end of this row. If you click on it, you might see a message saying that you need to accept new permissions, or you might even see right here, instead of the three dots, a circle, an orange circle with an exclamation point in it. Just click on it, read whatever error messages are coming up, and just by clicking on those, those error messages, you should be able to resolve the problem. Mm -hmm.